hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is precious and as you can tell from the title of my video I will be potting my bare root adenium plants also known as the desert rose and I will be using my special soil mixture to pot them but before I get into the video for those of you who have not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click on the subscribe button below and also hit the notification bell so that you will be the first to know when I upload a new video. So let's get into it. Welcome back guys. I'm going to be introducing you to the five components of my special soil mixture. And here I have potting soil, from the store this comes from the store and over here I have some washed sand right here is some charcoal dust and here I have some peanut trash and last but not least cocoa peat now I will be mix mixing all these components because I want the soil to be as porous as possible. The peanut trash that we have here, it's going, it's going to um, allow the soil to be as porous as possible. All right? So, with that being said, let me get into it. Right, so, we're going to be mixing everything together. And at this point, guys, I'm going to be using my hand instead of the shovel or the trowel to ensure that I get, I get the mixture well proportioned. Right. So this is how I do it. And I will be putting in some slow release fertilizer. And even though it says Orchid Growth Plus, it works well on all my other plants. So I don't limit this to just the orchids, all right? You can use it in the soil mixture for your other plants. And I will also be adding Epsom salt to the mixture. Epsom salt will enhance the greenness of the plant as well as to provide nutrients to the roots. And I'm just using my discretion here, no real measurement. And I will also be adding cinnamon powder to the mix. Cinnamon powder will prevent fungus. Right? Mix everything together. This guys quite nicely mixed quite porous because the desert rose they rot quite easily if they don't drain properly if the water does not drain from the from the pot they will rot so you have to ensure that the mixture is quite porous Here it is, my special soil mix. And now, I am going to put the plants with this mixture. Let me now do a quick introduction of each plant. This one is Snow White. Here we have Purple Rain. This is Sweet Lady. Beautiful Peach. Red Waterfall. And 
yellow alamander. So guys, normally I would use the construction gravel in the bottom of the pots to enhance drainage. But recently I discovered that I can use styrofoam cuttings. And this is what I'll be using this afternoon. Because the styrofoam cuttings, they don't add weight to the pot as the gravel will. Alright, so when you buy an appliance or anything that comes in a box with that is tucked in nice in the box with this white thing around it, the styrofoam, please. Don't throw it away, don't discard it. You can use it in the bottom of your pots whenever you pot a plant. So that's what I'm build, I'll be using this afternoon. And so, I now start the process of filling up with soil. And the first one I'll be cutting is Sweet Lady. And guys, let me show you. You notice this section of the plant? It has a light texture than the upper section. The section where the roots are well when you pot you don't want to put the soil above the soil should not be where the green area is so just rest it in the pot and you fill it around with some more soil you go guys plants nicely potted and you remember to water only when the soil is dry so I won't be watering them this afternoon until in the morning all right because it's now afternoon thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment. You can also follow me on Instagram at Precious Blooms JA and on Facebook at Precious Blooms JA. Until next time, see you soon.